Hello everybody, it's Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls and this is our daily card reading for January 31st, 2021. So we have today, you are good enough, full moon in Virgo. What this is telling us is that often we hang on to the way things have been because we've proven ourselves within this, we've proven we can handle it, we don't want to go beyond our comfort zone, okay? We maybe feel like if we're too challenged or if we're thrown into a situation that we don't necessarily know how to navigate, we may not have <laughs> the skills to figure it out, right? So this is really having faith in yourself and going, you know what? Everything up until now in my life was probably a new experience in one sense or another, okay? Uh, and you had to figure it out as you went along. So you don't need to fear your future. Anything that comes to you that act, asks you to go beyond your comfort zone, you'll be able to figure it out just like you always have, okay? This also speaks to how some of us, you know, being competitive. <laughs> I know I used to work in the corporate environment and there were always people trying to diminish other people just so that they wouldn't go after the same uh, job role as somebody else so that they could have it and nobody else would. You see what I'm saying? So this is disconnecting from that. And just because people around you say, hey, you're not good enough or hey, you can't, are you sure you could possibly handle that? That's a lot of responsibility. Are you sure you're qualified for that? You know, <laughs> you can let all of that go now and realize that you can go after what it is that really brings, what sparks your heart. That's how I want to put it. What really uplifts you and makes you feel joy. When it comes to interacting with other people, for some of you, this is disconnecting from friends that you realize are toxic. It's a one-sided friendship. You know, maybe they are diminishing you all the time so that they feel more powerful. And in love partnership. We've been, the discussion of the divine feminine returning seemed to go away for a lot of people. And nobody was talking about that anymore. And what has happened is now we're seeing this resurgence of uh, sort of a limping masculinity that's trying to overcompensate. We're seeing this come back in a big wave. And now I'm seeing uh, women who are dating men, they're in relationships with men, staying in these toxic relationships. Well, you know, sometimes you just got to let a man feel like a man. What? <laughs> what does that mean? Okay, we need to start questioning this stuff. Or you got to let a woman feel like a woman. What the heck does that mean? Okay, like seriously, we all have to stop, get out of the brainwashing and ask the hard questions. What does that mean? And so we have to realize that we are good enough. And that means no matter whether you're a carrier of, you know, masculine, well, we all have masculine and feminine energies within us, but a lot of people right now are expressing uh, a little more polarized to one end or the other. So where are you? Can you be more balanced? And can you understand that you are good enough and that you do not need to put up with toxicity no matter what form it is coming in? And you don't want to be putting that out into the world yourself. Okay, so we're going to leave it there. I'm sending you all so much love and take care. Bye-bye.